Hello everybody, this is the Structures Guy, and today we're talking about the importance of understanding the area members of inertia to the design of structure members. For simplicity, we will discuss how the area moment of inertia impacts the design of a simple beam which depends on the geometry of the beam and the load applied on it. The design of a beam section depends on the dimensions of that section and how the materials is distributed in the section. This is also known as the area moment of inertia which also measures the beam's ability to resist bending and shear stresses. Moment of inertia is usually referred to by IX or IY, which signifies the direction of moment of inertia. The shear stress tau is defined by this equation, where V is the applied shear force, Q is the first moment of inertia, I is the area moment of inertia, and B is the width of the section. Similarly, the bending stress sigma is defined by this equation, where M is the applied moment, C is the vertical distance to the geometric centroid from a certain point, which is usually half the height of the section for most structural engineering applications, and IX is the area moment of inertia. The general equation of area moment of inertia IX or IY are given by those two integrals, where X and Y are the locations of the centroid of the section. However, for most structural engineering applications, IX and IY are already calculated and tabulated for the ease of design. You can see that the shear and bending stresses depend on I, the area of the inertia. If all factors are constant, when the moment of inertia increases, both stresses will decrease due to the same applied loading, which means if the loading was applied on the wrong direction, the section will be overstressed and thus might result in a beam failure. As a result, when a beam is loaded in both directions by gravity and lateral loads, it is important that the area mode of inertia of each direction can take the loading in that direction and the section is not overstressed so that it does not fail under loading and thus understanding area moment of inertia becomes important when designing any structural members. Obviously, for any structural members not to be overstressed, the shear and bending stresses must be less than the maximum allowable stress a material can handle. Those maximum material stresses are known for all materials and can be easily found online or from books. I did some fun home experiments to show how different areas moment of inertia behave under the same loading. For simplicity, we will look at the rectangular section where the areas moment of inertia are those equations, where H is the height of the section and B is the width of the section. For example, let's assume we have a section that is 1 inch wide and 12 inch high. We will find out that IY is 1 inch to the 4th and IX is 144 inch to the 4th, which means that the section is 144 times stronger about the X direction than it is about the Y direction. You can see this if you try to bend this straight edge with some force, first in the x direction and then in the y direction. You can see that the straight edge deflects much more when bent about the y axis and it is much less when bent about the x axis because ix is much greater than iy and therefore can resist much more stress. Another fun example I did was using a 3D pen to draw a two rectangle sections with hooks attached along the x direction and another to the y direction. As you can predict, there is more deflection when the rectangle is loaded in the y direction but no visible deflection in the x direction. Another non-structural engineering example is if you took two cylinders, one is hollow and the other one is solid 
a rhythm roll down a slope due to gravity. You can see that the solid cylinder will roll down faster because it has bigger moment of inertia than the hollow one. The reason this happens is that the rotational energy is directly proportional to the area moment of inertia. Since the solid cylinder has a greater area moment of inertia, it will have a greater rotational energy and thus it will roll down faster. I hope you enjoyed the home experiments I have shown and learned the importance of area moment of inertia. Please subscribe so you don't miss next videos. See you next time.